and welcome to the Village Pilates YouTube exercise series. My name is Crystal and I'm a student instructor at Village Pilates Studio in Oak Park, Illinois. In this series, we'll be breaking down classical and archival Pilates exercises with a focus on maximizing breath and movement potential as well as explaining the historical purpose of each exercise. Joining me today is Annie, a graduate instructor at the studio. Today we'll be demonstrating side splits on the reformer. Side splits are a great exercise to work on balance, control, stability, and flexibility. The purpose of side splits is to tone and strengthen the inner thighs, as well as engage in work the pelvic floor and the low belly. Today we have the carriage on one medium spring. However, it's important to note that we can take the carriage to one heavy spring to work the resistance on the way out and find more assistance on the way in if the inner thighs are slightly weaker, or we could bring the carriage to one light spring to find more inner thighs on the way in. So let's go ahead and come onto the carriage. Annie will step onto the wood platform first, always stepping onto the stable platform and then onto the moving platform. From here, she'll heel toe her foot out. And notice that Annie's feet are in parallel here and she's really trying to find a lightness in the inner arch. So she's working more into the pinky side of the foot and this is because we don't want the arches to collapse or the feet to roll in and out. We want to be nice, strong, and stable here. Already, Annie is doing a ton of work just by standing here. The inner thighs are engaged, the pelvic floor is working, and the low abdominals are working to hold the carriage shut. The spine is long, her tail is reaching down, and her head is pressed to an imaginary wall. From here, Annie's arms will go out to a T. Her chest is open, her collar is wide, and she's really reaching through her fingertips. She'll take an inhale to take the carriage out, and exhale to close the carriage. And again, she'll inhale out, and she'll exhale before she closes the carriage to allow the breath to initiate the movement. And again, inhaling out, keeping the spine nice and long, the tail's reaching down, and when she comes in, notice that Annie's exhaling every last bit of air. It's almost as if she's trying to get every atom out of her lung. And two more here. Inhaling out, and on the exhale, she's really using the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, and the low abdominals. Her belly is pulling in and up towards her heart. And staying here, Annie will exhale all of her air. She'll heel toe her foot back in. She'll go ahead and step that foot off of the carriage and come up. And we'll always do the other side. It's important that we want to develop our bodies uniformly as that's the goal of Pilates. Thank you so much for your great demonstration, Annie, and we'll see you next Monday.